Welcome students. Today we are handling a question. We are still on forces but we are approaching it using a sign rule. So the question is the weight of 6 kN is suspended from the hook of a jib crane as shown. Find the magnitude of forces in the jib and the tie using sign rule. So this one is very specific. We are using sign rule. Now, we have the load of 60 kN, the tire and the jeep, and from the look, you can see that the load of 60 kN is applied downwards, and that tells us that the jeep will tend to be stretched apart. So the, the tire, sorry, not the jeep, the tire will tend to stretch apart, and this will undergo the tension force. The tension force, the jeep will undergo compression, so it will be in that particular direction. So this would be under compression. So, we want to at least break down the, the two forces and, sh and be able to show all the angles because we are using sign rule. Now, we, we, we have this force of a tie and the force acting downwards of 60 kN and there is a jib here. Remember, I've indicated this facing upwards. This one is down. So if the, if the world is here and we're having these two forces, remember this one is 760 and this angle is 40 degrees. So if you can observe this angle, let me extend this one a bit in dashes. So this can form Z angles. So if you know about Z angles, alternate angles as this. So this angle here is equal to this other angle. So that tells us that 60 is equal to the angle being formed by the 60 kN force and the tie. Now, this entire is 60 degrees. Let me write it from outside. The 40 degrees is also equal to this small angle that is between the jib and 60 kN. So our 40 degrees would be here. Now, the reason as to why I'm doing this is for us to get the triangle because we are using the sign rule. Now, the triangle that we'll achieve from this diagram is that we'll have a 60 kN force facing downwards. We will have a tire, tie like that. So 60 is here. The tie would be here. Let me use T for tie. And the closing side, the closing side would now be our jeep. Let me use J for that matter. So look at the directions like that and like that. That tells us that the T here is parallel to this angle here. And the J, which is for the jib, is parallel to this force. So this would form our entire triangle. Now, if you look at our diagram, it simply tells us that I've simply uh, transferred this force of the tie to this side. So it's like we have a tie there. So we are going to pick this portion this portion for sign rule. It's in, in form of a triangle. So that tells us that the angle 40 would still remain here as 40. And this angle, this small angle here, is equal to this angle, the entire. So that means if this one is 40, uh, di directly opposite angles, this would be 20 degrees to equate to this one. So 20 degrees is here. And we know that for the entire triangle, it's normally 180 degrees. So we know we already have 40 plus 20. So that one is 60. So 180 minus 60 is now giving us 120 degrees. So this portion of a triangle is 120. So in sine rule, in sine rule, we know A over sine capital A is equal to B over sine B and equal to C over sine C. Now let's look, let's place these values in our triangle and see how it would look like. Now, remember the sine A or the capital A, B, C, E are simply the angles. Such so that if we have this angle of 20 degrees here and we're using maybe the side of 20 as our A, so our point A would be here and the angle that we're going to use is this one directly opposite. If we having this 120, the place directly opposite to that would be 
let's say this one is our B, then we'll use an angle of 120. And this would now be our C in place of T, an angle of 40 degrees. Now let's replace this in our, in our formula. So we have A over sine A, and our A is 60 kilonewtons over the sine of A, which is our A was an angle directly opposite 20 degrees should now be equal to b for the jeep let me put it this way for us to remember over sine b sine b is 120 degrees should now be equal to c and our c is the t remember for the time over sine 40 degrees like that now you can go ahead with your calculator remember we have two known values here we'll have one unknown value so maybe we can pick this portion for the first calculation so 60 kilonewton over sine 20 degrees is now equal to b over sine 120 so if you make b the subject our b would now be equal to 60 kilonewton times sine 120 we are dividing it by sine 20 degrees so get your b So this is 151.93 kilonewtons. Now, we can now do the same for, for the C. So remember, this is for the jib. Now for the tie, for the tie, we're using the non-60 kilonewtons divided by sine 20 degrees should now be equal to C, let me call it T, divided by sine 40 degrees. So we're making the C T the subject. So for the tie here, this would now be 60 kilonewtons times sine 40 degrees. We're dividing it by sine 20 degrees. So if you compute that, you're going to get 1112.76 kilonewtons. It's a force, that's why we're having it for the kilonewtons. Now we've already computed and we now have the magnitude of our jib, the magnitude of our jib by sine rule is 112.76 kilonewtons. For the tie, for the jib, sorry, so this one is for the jib, sorry for that confusion. So this is 151.93 kilonewtons. Then for the tie, we are having 112.76 kilonewtons. So you can take your time and compute those questions on your own. That is the simplest method and that is the way to solve forces using sign rule. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.